Well, this has been a day of tears, fears and pure joy. Sarah Ooten is on her way on her 20,000 mile journey around the globe. It'll be two and a half years before she's back here at Tower Bridge. This one remarkable woman will cycle across three continents and row two mighty oceans. No wonder this journey is being called London to London via the world. She might be taking on the world, but she wasn't getting cold feet. There's certainly a lot of adrenaline going through right now, but I'm so satisfied and happy and proud that we've made it to this point. This was a day when hundreds came to salute a woman in a tiny kayak on the Thames, about to embark on a combination of oceans and continents never attempted before in a single solo journey. If I'm likely to get squashed anyway, it'll be on a road somewhere, you know, on the wheels of something. So fingers crossed that doesn't happen. Among her well-wishers was Leicestershire's Ed Stafford, who recently walked the length of the Amazon. When you think about being away for two and a half years, which, which is the same length as my expedition, actually, you can just start to get really, really you know, overwhelmed by the whole thing. But I actually break it down into little chunks, and, you know, every day is invariably very possible, isn't it? Well, this is Sarah's kayak, which she calls Nelson. She'll sail to Europe in that, and also from Russia to Japan. This is her bike on which she'll cycle across three continents. Logistics and forward planning are crucial to the success of her trip. My job is looking after the nuts and bolts of the expedition, making sure that her equipment, her bike, kayak and rowboat are in the right place at the right time. Every time she reaches the coast, I fly out in advance to help smooth everything over. Everyone was singing Sarah's praises, but as one o'clock approached, so did the time to say goodbye. <laughs> what does a mother say to a child who's confronting so much danger? You can't stop my daughter doing anything. I've always said to them, follow your heart and chase your dreams. Um, but to any other parent, don't tell them that because look what they do. With three cheers, Sarah was on her way, on the water that she loves. From a Royal Navy boat, her mother sounded the klaxon at the appointed hour. Four charities will benefit from every stroke and every pedal that Sarah makes over the next two and a half years. Her reward, she says, is the journey. Her rallying call, bring on the world.